this question is a good example of just like connect the dots, continue the thought process and you should be fine. So we are adding a little bit to this one, but it's okay. So let's take a look. Arthur Conan Doyle's stories about Detective Sherlock Holmes were published between 1887 and 1927. They've inspired countless successful adaptations, including comic strips, movies, and a television series, Sherlock Hound, directed by Hayao Miyazaki, who is celebrated for his animated movies. Until 2014, these stories were copyrighted. The right to adapt was only available to those who could afford the copyright fee and gain approval from the strict copyright holders of Doyle's estate. So notice... The, the connotation shifted a little bit there, right? It was, uh, you had to, they were only available to those who could afford the fee, that's, fees are bad, gain approval from the strict copyright holders. So this sentence seems bad, whereas before it seemed like, okay, they were successful, right? There were lots of successful things. So something shifted there. Some journalists predict that the number of Sherlock Holmes adaptations is likely to increase since the end of copyright means that. So why was the negative there? The negative was there because of the copyright. So now that the copyright is gone, it's past 2014, seems like it'll increase. So it seems like we want something good here. It's, it's going to, it, it, basically, if I'm following this, the copyright held it back. So now they're going to increase because there's no copyright. So let's see. Uh, Doyle's original stories become hard to find. Well, that sounds like the opposite of what we want, right? We wanted a positive connotation. This seems negative. Uh, it seems like if they were, uh, the adaptations are going to increase, why would why would original stories be hard to find? It, it seems like uh, we're not looking for them. We have them. They've been around for 100 years. So I don't even understand what this choice means. B, people will become more interested in detective stories than they were in the 1800s. We don't know that. We don't know what people will want, right? So we got to be careful. This is changing the main character of the story. The character here is... The, the, the Sherlock Holmes stories, right? So now we're, we're switching it to the people who read those stories. They were not really talked about here. They're, we're, we're talking about making stuff for those people, not what those people themselves think. Uh, choice C, producing adaptations become easier and less expensive. That sounds pretty good, so that's probably it. And D, the former copyright holders of Doyle's estate will return fees they collected? What? Why would they do that? We never even talked about those people, really. They're going to return fees, so... They're, they're just going to give away money? We need to back that up with some evidence, and we don't have any. So look, C is much easier, right? It, it's why are there going to be more adaptations? Because the copyright that made these things hard to afford uh, will be gone. So once the copyright is gone, they're cheaper. So follow the follow the trail here. This is a good example of how these inference questions kind of are supposed to work, is we can almost predict what the blank is going to be because the logic of the passage is pretty straightforward. They were expensive. They were under strict copyright. The copyright is gone. Therefore, they're no longer going to be expensive. They're no longer going to be strict copyright laws. So we're going to have more of these things. Just follow it to its logical conclusion. And a lot of times that's just going to be what the answer choice says.